got two minutes. Two minutes and counting. Two minutes right now. This is a special report from the Channel 9 newsroom. Good afternoon, I'm Lori Everett. The five high-rise buildings of the Wayne Minor Court are set to be demolished in just a couple of minutes now. This is going to be a spectacular end to a project that has been a big disappointment for Kansas City. But the final moments of Wayne Minor are going to make history. What you are about to see is the largest demolition of this type ever attempted in the United States. All five buildings will be leveled simultaneously. Now, we have cameras located at the best vantage points around. I'm from 8th and Woodland, right in front of Wayne Minor. We have another camera on top of University Hospital, where Larry Moore is standing by. Larry, can you hear me? Laurie, it's a rainy day in Kansas City. We're high atop University Hospital at Independence Avenue and Woodland, and the shot you're seeing is looking down on the Wayne Minor high-rises, the five big buildings that will be demolished in just a couple of minutes. Rain is coming down very heavily. That's why we've had a delay of nearly an hour. They were scheduled to be demolished at noon. That's the picture you're going to see from the helipad of University Hospital along Independence Avenue in Kansas City. A rainy day indeed. And there's the ground level shot that you'll see from Croft and Woodland as the demolition experts do their job this afternoon. A large crowd in the area here, and there is the courtyard picture. There is actually a live Channel 9 camera in the courtyard in the middle of the five high-rises. So you'll see that picture up close as the demolition experts explode the building in just a couple of minutes. And then the shot from City Hall this afternoon, which uh, is fogged in. As you can see, there's such a heavy fog over downtown Kansas City, you're not going to see very much from Kansas City City Hall, the tallest city hall in the nation, but not doing as much good this afternoon. That's the shot from University Hospital. We're on the helipad at University Hospital on the 11th floor, and the picture you're seeing, the five high-rises of the Wayne Minor Project, which will be demolished in just a couple of minutes. Lori is at the point where the button is going to be pushed, Lori, take us to countdown. We have already gotten the one-minute warning, so we are now less than one minute away. The rain has been responsible for, for, responsible for this delay of almost an hour because it forced the workers to plastic wrap many of the connections to protect them. The wind was also a problem earlier this morning. The rain, though, on the other hand, is a welcome sight for the workers because that will keep the dust down. It has also, to some extent, kept the crowds down, although there are thousands of people gathered in this immediate area now to watch this. They have been here since at least 11 o'clock this morning with cameras poised, and they are ready to go. Interstate 70 has been blocked off because of the traffic in this area. All these people coming to see what is promising to be a spectacular end to the Wayne Minor Court housing project. The buildings will not exactly be blown up. That's a misnomer. The implosion technique is going to be employed. The workers have spent six weeks on this project drilling 2,500 holes in the column supports of the building. When they press the buttons to detonate the explosion, the buildings will crumble, the gravity will bring them in, and that's what you're going to see in just a couple of minutes. We expect now that we are within about 30 seconds. The, uh, the workers are still conferring and making their last-minute checks. Lots of Kansas City history here, Lori. 27 years of Kansas City history. These buildings dedicated in November of 1960, just a few days after President John F. Kennedy was elected President of the United States. At that day, at that dedication ceremony, an official of the federal government called it the finest example of public housing in the United States of America. 27 years later, the buildings are being demolished. We're getting very close to countdown. We are still standing by. We expect this to be any moment now. We have a large crowd atop University Hospital. A lot of uh, friends of the administration, people who have helped with the hospital, they're having a, a party. And there's silence now as people watch to see the next few seconds of Wayne Minor. Larry, we understand now that we are on a temporary hold. Now, we don't know yet what the problem is. Again, the weather has caused all sorts of difficulties throughout the morning. 
We don't know what the reason for the delay is at this particular moment. We just understand it is a temporary hold situation. We, of course, have been told during the week that the only thing could possibly hold up uh, uh, this effort this afternoon would be a severe electrical storm. Obviously, Kansas City weather uh, affects uh, things in different ways. So it has been delayed. We don't have a severe electrical storm, but we do have quite a bit of rain coming down. That's right, and again, with as many connections, as many cables as are laid out throughout the Wayne Minor Court, they had to go to a lot of work to make sure those stay dry when they do push the buttons to detonate the explosions. Twelve we are still dollars. on hold. That's what these buildings cost when they were put up in, the, in 1960. Twelve million dollars from the federal government, five buildings and 15 townhouses. The townhouses will stay and be remodeled. It's the five high-rise buildings that will be demolished this afternoon in this area bounded by Woodland, Garfield, 9th and 12th Streets, right east of downtown Kansas City. It's a quite a sight from a top university hospital, and it will be quite a sight in just a moment when the demolition experts actually press the button that will demolish these five high-rise buildings. You know, Larry, it is going to be a spectacular occasion. It is something of a somber one, though, as you mentioned, these buildings were thought at one point to be the finest of their type in the Midwest. They're going to come down after 27 years. It simply didn't work out. But city leaders hope, too, that this is going to represent a new beginning, as you say, because they will be building new townhouses, renovating the apartments for the Wayne Minor Court housing development. The crowd, you might be able to hear from the background, uh, a lot of people ringing this development this afternoon, watching, and you can hear the crowd because they're not exactly sure why the delay has occurred. So they're wanting to see uh, something occur. And there's the uh, courtyard shot. We have a live camera inside the courtyard of Wayne Minor, right in between those five big high-rise buildings. That'll be a real interesting yeah. picture when those buildings start coming down. No, just keep going. You're going to have Once again, we don't know the reason for the delay. From where I'm standing, I can see a number of the demolition experts conferring with police right now. They are having some kind of last-minute huddle, but we don't know yet why the temporary delay. We had been given a one-minute warning several minutes ago. And that minute warning, that minute now has passed and nothing has occurred. There you see the picture from uh, City Hall in Kansas City, from uh, the 29th floor of City Hall, the tallest city hall in the nation. And as you can see, fog and bad weather is pretty well gripping the Kansas City area this afternoon. A major storm system in the area that's bringing us all this rain. We're really fortunate, I suppose, that it isn't snow or we'd be having a lot of snow on the ground by now. It is very, very cloudy, very, very overcast, a heavy fog over the area, and the chances of it uh, letting up any time later this afternoon are pretty remote as it stands right now. Are you hear a siren. We have just heard the siren. We're standing by to find out if that's another time cue. People surrounding the uh, project area, of course, which is sealed off, but you can get a good view around it. There's a lot of traffic, a lot of people, and uh, quite a few people at top university. Here hospital. comes the countdown. Here's the countdown. Two and one, here it goes. cloud of dust. What an unbelievable sight that is, Larry. It's all five buildings come down at once. Oh, spectacular indeed. What a sight from the helipad of University Hospital. Five buildings crumbling all at one time. And now just a cloud of dust starting to drift toward the downtown area of Kansas City. A mass of rubble. That is quite a sight to see. That took six weeks of work. 2,500 separate demolition, separate explosive charges drilled into the columns of the building. That, as I said, was six weeks of work. That what, what happened was they drilled 2,500 holes in the support columns that weakened the support. The building crumbled. Gravity brought it in on top of itself. Again, there was a huge cloud of dust, but from all indications, everything went very, very smoothly.
What a scene, I'll tell you. Yeah, we're it really going to is. take a look and, at that uh, one more no time. About it. The, the pictures that uh, we were hoping to bring you from City Hall we couldn't get, but the pictures from University Hospital, the pictures in the courtyard, and the pictures at ground level, certainly an unbelievable sight here this morning or this afternoon as five big buildings. There you can start to see the rubble that is left behind. When the Kansas City Housing Authority decided to use this method to bring down the buildings, they hired Control Demolition Incorporated, which is one of the best firms in the world at doing this type of work. I'm told that if they had chosen to use the old ball and chain method of demolition, it would have taken six months to bring these buildings down. Instead, what you saw happen in about 15 seconds. We're going to take a look now at the view from inside the Wayne Minor Courtyards. We had a live camera inside the courtyard to take a look from that vantage point as all five buildings crumble to the ground. Just work on that. We need that. It was quite a sight to see. We understand from our brief talk as he ran by from the president of the company that it all went well. They will now begin the process after the dust settles down of hauling all the rubble out of here. Larry, how did everybody like it at University Hospital? Well, when the uh, explosion began or the demolition began, you could uh, hear the crowd give a big roar. It was really a sight from up here because you could see each building give way at each particular moment, and then they all simply collapse in a heap of rubble. Uh, quite a scene indeed. A beautiful sight, really, and you have to think of 27 years of history all demolished. If you look closely at the shot, you can see small buildings around the five towers. The towers, of course, are now rubble. The buildings remain, those small townhouses. They'll be remodeled. And there... Police not... Police not and trying now, to keep the crowd from going into the... As you can see, as we bring you the, the instant replay of what it looked like, from atop of University Hospital. And of course, uh, Keith Wilson, the president of University Hospital, standing right here with me as you're watching the replay of the demolition of the Wayne Minor Projects. You lost a longtime neighbor today, Keith. Yes, we did, uh, but there's a start of a new era, and there'll be new housing, and we're looking forward to our new neighbors moving in. Thank you very much for permitting us to be atop the hospital to bring these pictures to our viewers this afternoon. Our pleasure. It's once in a lifetime, and I'm glad that Channel 9 was here to witness it along with all the friends of University Hospital. Thank you very much, Keith. President of uh, University Hospital, and there you see the, the aftermath of the demolition of the Wayne Minor high-rises that occurred here this afternoon. As the rain continues to come down, it's been raining all, all day long, and in the middle of the rain, the demolition was delayed for just about an hour because of the weather. Some of the charges had to be refixed, some of them had to be dried off, and finally, at just about 10 minutes before 1 this afternoon, the actual demolition of the Wayne Minor high-rises occurred. And there you see, you're getting a glimpse of what we saw live just a couple of moments ago on Channel 9. The demolition of history in Kansas City. 27 years of public housing. Demolished in just 15 seconds this afternoon. There it goes. And a cloud of dust rises from the scene and begins to drift over downtown Kansas City. Right now at the scene, it is a scene of quiet. Most of the dust has now left the area. People are leaving the area, those who gathered around to see what would really happen. And it really was a spectacular sight. You have to think, three to 15,000 people in Kansas City, homeless every night. And today, public housing actually demolished. As you can see, the weather is causing us some problems, but we'll have full coverage of all the demolition on the news tonight. Laurie? Larry, it was something to see right from our vantage point as well, because in addition to hearing that boom, we could feel the boom. There was a rumble, the big cloud of dust. It has really been quite a sight to see. The uh, city leaders hope this is going to be a new beginning for Wayne Minor, and we'll, of course, have a full report of the today's events on our news tonight at 6 o'clock. For Larry Moore, I'm Laurie Everett. This has been a special report of Channel 9 News.
This has been a special report from the Channel 9 Newsroom.